All of the death and misery our earth has suffered throughout its history has been induced by the Luciferians, serpent seed, elite Illuminati satanic rulers of the earth. Today we have been given a glimpse through Wikileaks of what's been going on behind the curtain, a peek into their script that unbeknownst to us has been in play for thousands of years. A script of doom and gloom. And we have welcomed it, thinking that we must sit on our hands to ensure total annihilation in order to have peace. Wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes, animal deaths, natural disasters, financial collapse and total destruction that by the way they can induce and have the technology to make it all happen you bet it's in their script you bet it's part of their grand scheme the big picture their last act the grand finale to a grand delusion they have been working for hundreds of years for this time to usher in their kingdom of Lucifer New World Order. In the previous video, I brought up the deep underground military bases that can be found all over the earth. These play a very important part in their soon to come grand deception. Right now there are 131 active deep underground military bases in the United States. There's 1,477 of them worldwide. Each one has an average cost of 17 to 19 billion dollars. Each one is uh, built in the site of, uh, oh, it used to be, it'd take a year to two years to build each one. And now they're capable of building a couple of them a year uh, with sophisticated methods. My colleague, uh, Al Felix has actually been on some of the high-speed railways, uh, the magneto-leviton trains that connect all the deep underground military bases within the United States. He's been on a Mach 2 train and floats off a, floats off a single rail at a, a three-quarters of an inch off the rail and is uh, what you call high-tech. We have nothing like this on the surface. Groom Lake is where the infamous Area 51, S4, S2, a CIA base uh, uh, It was originally a bombing range, a nuclear test site. Uh, it was later become the most secret base in the United States. Uh, it employs over 18,000 workers who work in shifts of 12 hours of, at a whack. Most of them work in the cover of darkness, like us. We built out nine underground military bases there each with an average uh, uh, capacity, capable of uh, basically a city underground, roughly four and a quarter cubic miles hollowed out underground. They have boring machines, for instance. They don't bore, they literally vitrify and melt the rock, deflagrate the rock. It's a very sophisticated laser uh, uh, melting and deflagrating system. It reduces the rock to a powder and then melts the the remaining rock is a coating on the inside of the base, so you don't have to use gunite, cements, and other kinds of things like that. That's all the all we have now. Uh, technology is just basically the new technology we get is the old hat of the military. Anyway, after we drilled all four holes, it's about a, two days to drill all four of them. And when you build an underground base, you drill four basic holes, and you build you call scopes or cross member holes across, and you bla use blasting equipment. A special, special blasting equipment by the analyzation of the rock formation and you literally blast out or tunnel out uh, or deflagrate or melt rock out to build the large rooms that are required for this underground base. I was involved in building another base onto in inside of Del New Mexico which is Los Alamos laboratory. It's a biological laboratory on the southwest part of the Archelada Mesa. Uh, we built an underground facility, a better part of three cubic miles hollowed out underground. Then to 
the southwest of that, we built, we were, we were in the process of the early stages of building, we drilled four large uh, tunnel-like holes. Some of them ran two and a half miles under the surface. Uh, number of the early, at that time, number of the original uh, uh, wells or uh, drilling uh, machines that were used were, were uh, uh, at the rate of uh, two miles a day. Area 51 is only one base, one of the 131 bases. Of these 131 bases, I call Area 51 a mega base. It's got more than one base. It's Tonopah Test Range, Area 51, S2, S4, Groom Lake, and a host of others. Now, these mega bases are gobbling up our gross national product. Right now, we're spending 28% of the gross national product on building underground bases solely. That doesn't count for the defense budget. That doesn't count for the spare parts budget. It doesn't count for any of that at all. And the black budget is dead, dead wrong. It sidesteps the United States Congress and its constitution of its people and says, you're a bunch of morons, you don't need to know. On well, a need-to-know basis is an executive order written during the Eisenhower era right after the created 1954 treaty and is treasonous and illegal in this country and should be overturned and abolished. All this alien thing is fine, except for one thing. Alien takeover is a serious threat. Kept totally out of the public view, off the surface, I'm sure the underground bases, without question, are being used as a form, a place to house alien takeover. Alien takeover means the implementation of a one world government. Thanks to the people like Julian Assange, Phil Schneider, and many more who are willing to risk their lives to do what's right, we have been able to get the whole picture in their grand scheme of unimaginable crimes against humanity. Today there are approximately 130 deep underground military bases in the United States alone, with depths of over a mile to almost three miles. They have nuclear-powered laser drilling machines that can drill a tunnel seven miles long in one day. The Dulles military base in New Mexico is probably the deepest. It goes down seven levels. They have been building these day and night unceasingly since the early 1940s. These bases are basically large cities underground, connected by high-speed magneto-leviton trains that have speeds up to Mach 2. Trillions upon trillions of dollars have gone into this bottomless pit called the Black Budget. Obama doubled the debt himself in just eight years. In order to understand what their plans have been, we must go into the rabbit hole because it's time that we all know what's been going on under our feet. Who is the shadow government? These are the Luciferians, Illuminati elite. In ancient times, these were the giant men of renown offspring of the fallen angels and human women who ruled the ancient earth. It is the same bloodlines that rule the earth today. These are the ones who hate and war against our Creator incarnate Jesus. These are those who worship and sacrifice to Lucifer. They have been building up the UFO and extraterrestrial phenomena in secrecy as part of their psychological 
mind manipulation. So when they finally disclose this deception, the world will be waiting and willing to accept their lies about these so-called ancient aliens. But now the United Nations is getting ready for a contact with aliens from outer space. This is Maslin Offman. She's out of Malaysia. She will be planet Earth's first interstellar diplomat. And Michio Kaku is a theoretical physics professor, also host of the Science Channel series, Sci-Fi Science Physics of the Impossible, which is doing great, by the way. How are you doing, by the way? Very good. Nice Very to good. see you, Michio. And I don't know, is this a goofy idea? Is this a serious idea? What in the world is the UN doing involved in this? Well, don't expect flying saucers to land on the White House lawn anytime soon, announcing, take me to your leader. It sounds like a goofball idea, but here's the rationale. Sometime later this year, maybe early next year, astronomers will announce that we have discovered Earth-like twins in outer space. And when we gaze out the night sky, somebody may be gazing back at us. The shadow government has been working not with aliens, but demonic entities of the terrestrial kind. In other words, my friends, these don't come from other galaxies or outer space. These reside on Earth. Demonic entities who for thousands of years have inhabited a hybrid humanoid life form in order to carry out tasks for the shadow governments, human experimentation, and genetic manipulation underground. Through their abduction phenomena technology, they target those who hate Jesus and practice witchcraft because they do not have the protection from the host of heaven. These fallen entities have given the shadow government incredible technology, advancements in the manipulation of the human genome, technology that is used on humans to extract tissue or manipulate the unborn fetus. The Luciferians have worked tirelessly to create a way for them to extend their lifespan artificially through the genetic manipulation of both animal and human DNA and have been geoengineering their habitats here on Earth. That at the same time causes the cancers that we consume in our foods and water, hoping to eventually phase out the organic human. They create human hybrid vessels for these demonic Nephilim to inhabit. The shadow government military have obtained incredible technology, such as a TR-3 that can jump space. They have also created viruses such as Zika and Ebola and you can find their US patents online. Trillions upon trillions have been funneled into the black budget 
through organizations such as the United Nations, the Vatican, NASA, and other corporations. They have vested many years and lots of money for their last and grand deception and new world order agenda. Their goal is to keep control of the earth for another thousand years. So as all of this doom and gloom is manifesting and is magnified on the surface of the earth, and it seems that all hope is gone, comes their final act. Disclosure. Their counterfeit second coming extraterrestrial agenda, supposedly from a galaxy far, far away, come the saviors of humanity. And of course, they come bearing gifts, such as free energy, technology that already exists, but has been suppressed for decades, cures for cancers that we have had all along, but also been suppressed by the pharmaceutical industry, who instead inflict us with cancers in order to rake in billions yearly. Their plan is to bring the human psyche to the brink of total helplessness, so that we welcome their extraterrestrial agenda with open arms and accept their new revelations that according to Pope Francis will change the gospel as we know it. In other words, they plan to discredit our Creator incarnate Jesus. From beautiful, tall, and majestic looking beings to strange looking life forms will arrive in amazing technology. These will be the Nephilim demons in hybrid human vessels masquerading as our extraterrestrial brothers, not from the stars, but from the underground, bottomless pit, black budget military bases. President Trump, with the help of our allies, including Russia, will put an end to this Luciferian New World Order globalist agenda. The righteous sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father throughout the earth have the opportunity to take their discernment back from everything that separates us. Religion has kept us divided for thousands of years because we have a trusting nature and therefore we are easily deceived. Jesuits slash Freemasons have the gift of speech and with their forked tongue can deceive the masses. We have been deceived on all fronts through our history, through our science, and through our religion. And unlike what we have been told, we have free will and have total and complete control of our destiny, our future. Religion has kept us out of touch and out of commission from things that truly matter. It has disconnected us from the present and kept us living in a manipulated past. We must regain total control of creation. We must rid of all genetic manipulations. We must rid of Monsanto and every corporation tied to Monsanto. We must stop their chemtrails spraying of our skies. We must put the serpent seed bloodline under total containment. This we must do before our Heavenly Father comes. The Luciferians have kept our Heavenly Father's sons and daughters of every race and culture on earth under the curse of the letter 
and has divided us since the beginning of time. We have been under the Babylonian temple system. God's temple is not built by hands, but reigns in our hearts as our spirit of righteousness and discernment. We must never surrender our spirit to any book or to anyone or anything. We are to concentrate in the now so that we can take care of tomorrow. It's the only way we defeat the evil on the earth because we do battle against flesh and blood because all the evil on the earth is flesh and blood and they can be affected and they can be stopped and they can be defeated we are the guardians of our father's creation and we must regain our post with extreme prejudice then and only then his kingdom will come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All cultures and races of peoples of the earth who stand for what's right and have a moral compass to live in principle and moral values are his righteous sons and daughters. All who abide and preach the narrative of doom and gloom of the letter are false prophets who promote the agenda of Satan's Catholic Church fathers. The letter has kept us divided for thousands of years. Every race and culture has been under the curse of the letter that keeps us judging each other and divided. All religions have been cursed to keep us bounded in pagan practices. No book can ever be holy or infallible. Satan's counterfeit version of Christianity gave us their version of the Word of God. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our Creator, Father, the Word made flesh, Jesus. Our Heavenly Father incarnated in Jesus to come to our rescue to deliver us from the curse of the letter, to set us free from the doctrines of men, to redeem us from religion. He truly did set us free from the curse of the letter. He totally carried us out of the Babylonian temple system and reconciled us to himself. That, my brothers and sisters, was and is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ.